praise you. We thank you and praise you for the things that you have sung over us. We thank you, Father God, that we are taking this to the next level. I thank you, Father God, that we are walking in the new. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that as you already declared, that no weapon formed against us would be able to prosper. So, Father God, I thank you, Lord, that we walk free. We walk in a place of visitation. We walk in a place of power. We walk in a place of strength. We walk in a place of newness. We walk in a place of refreshing. Father God, we walk in a place of strength. We walk in a place where everything is new. Father God, we thank you. We praise you. We give your name glory. Come on, we give your name honor. Come on, we clap your hands. Give God praise. Come on, give him praise. And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Amen. Amen. So this is... Matthew chapter 24, and the disciples wanted to know while he was on the Mount of Olives. We know olives represent that place of anointing. And they are asking when these things will take place, what is going to be the sign, what is going to be there. And the first thing Jesus said was, take heed that no man deceive you. All right. We are living in an age of deception, an age of, of high crime, high treason, high time of, of these deceiving powers. Um, there are so many things that are happening in the world that represents the time that we are in of great deceit. Amen. There are things that are happening even in medical rooms. Amen. That shows a level of deceit. 
We have males and females being transformed into one male transformed right. to a female. And there's so many different kinds of surgical procedures. We know that their man is made different from woman. Amen. 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 Their body shape is different. Their, their, their facial structure is different. Amen. Amen. Everything about a man is different from a woman. Right. Right. Amen. But we understand in this age of deceit that people are going and they're getting surgeries to make the forehead look like that of a female right. or that of a male. Right. They're doing different things in the cosmetic world to make themselves appear to be one thing and they are something else. Right. Amen. So you will be in this time and you will not know who is who or what is what. Right. We right. used to be able to look and see, look at the Adam's apple, mm -hmm. right, the features, the waistline, the mm -hmm. hips. We would be able to see, but there are surgeries being done. Yeah. Amen. There are things that are happening where people are trying to be so the same, right? so exact, so exact and to the point that you never know what they are because they want to be that very thing that they paid for. Right. Amen. Not only that, we understood that there are various people within government. We had the woman that was in the NAACP all this time. Right. And she was perpetrating to be someone that was black. Right. Amen. But she was Caucasian all along. Wow. Right. Amen. We have different ones, makeup artists that are coming out with, with makeup. They're coming out with a look that make them look like they are one race of people, but they are something else. Right. Amen. And so today is a day where you have to look and see what is that. Mm -hmm. But this is a time that, that I want you to understand. The only thing and the only way you're going to know is if you know the voice. Yes. The voice. Somebody say the voice. The, the voice. voice. The voice. Let's go to 1 John chapter 4. This is a very familiar passage of scripture. And then we're going to look at an example of where we need to go with this passage, 1 John chapter 4. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof you have heard that it should come. And even now already is it in the world. So there's a time that Jesus said false prophets would come. Yeah. He said, be not deceived because many will come in my name saying that I am he. And he is not. Amen. So that means that they will study you. They will study the way we are seeing different things happening in the religious community. Where different ones are being, their, their information is being put out on the internet. We're seeing all the different activities. Uh, and people are going to jail, right? There are so many acts of violence. Yeah. And acts that's not God-like, yeah. amen, within the houses of God. Amen. And so, the people, one thing for sure, people have sat under these kind of ministries. And because they are still there, they won't move. Mm. Many of them won't move. There is something cultic-like. Right. Uh, when you study Jim Jones, when you study the different cultic churches that have been presented, hey man, when you study how those things were, people wouldn't move. Mm -hmm. They were warned, they were talked to, they were, they were given instructions, but they wouldn't move. Something about that would not let them move. Right. So that means people are under a spell. When God began to warn you about something, and when you refuse to hearken to the voice of the Lord, he gives you over to that thing. There's a time to hear. Amen. Somebody said, there's a time to hear God. There's a time to hear him. And amen, he'll try to get you, because God is true. So he'll continue to speak in truth. And so I want you to know that in this time, you're going to have to know his voice. He said, my sheep know my voice. And a stranger, they will not follow. And he said, you will know them by the fruit they bear. Right. Amen. So it's not going to be evil fruit. Right. It's going to be good fruit. Right. Real fruit. Right. We talk about, even in the agriculture scene, people are making up fruits, amen, right. that are not real fruit. Right. Right. Right? Made in the lab. They're being put out in the trees, right? So these are all these things that are not real. Yeah. So we're living in a time where you have to say what is real. Right, and you right. have to say what is true. Right, right. Jesus. Amen. So we're going to look at an example. 
We're going to go to the book of Genesis chapter 27. We like to study the word of God because it says try the spirits. Right. Amen. And how many know you have a human spirit? Amen. Amen. You are a spirit. You have a soul and you live in this body, this flesh man. This is what allows you to live on planet earth. Amen. But inside of you is a whole spirit being. It's a whole human spirit. This is the part where you are talked to in the spiritual realm, the spiritual plane, where the good, bad, evil, you, this is a discussion point. This is where you communicate in your spirit. Amen. So when people travel in the spirit, it's their spirit going so they can be in one place. John said, I was in the spirit in the Lord's day. And the Lord took me and showed me, right? Ezekiel was stand, was at the waters and God took him by his hair and put him up and sent him to different places. And he got to see what was happening behind the walls of the temple of God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And so it is your spirit that is able to have access to move about. Praise God. Amen. And so this, you are in your fleshly body. And so I want you to know that there are promises that God is giving you. Amen. Amen. And the enemy does not want you to have those promises. But I want you to look at your neighbor and say, I will not be deceived because I'm not going to be tricked. 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 They're tricks are for kids. I'm not going to be tricked. Because my ears are going to be open. Come on. I'm going to be in this word. Amen. If you don't have the word of God, you won't know his voice. You won't know how he talks. All you know, if you've been in church all this time, all you know is the church culture. Right, you won't right. know your God. Right, right. You'll hear your pastor's messages. Right. But you'll never hear God himself. Come my on. sheep know my voice. Yeah, yeah. And as strangers, they will not follow. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And so when you stay in this word, and you study this word, and not to read it as a story, but to read it and to get God's point and God's word and how God is trying to show us something. Because he said the Old Testament is a foreshadow of things to come. Right. Amen? So there's a point of reference when you read the New Testament. There's a point of, of reference to these things in the Old Testament. So we're looking at a point of reference where Jesus is saying, be not deceived. Genesis 27. We understand that Isaac and Rachel had a set of twins. Yes. One was Jacob and one was Esau. Yes. Amen. Amen. We understand that Esau was a person of the field. And Jacob was one that was in the house. He stayed around his mother. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so if there were anything called favorites, Jacob preferred, Rachel preferred Jacob and Isaac preferred Esau because they had things that were in common. People of the field. Amen. And so it comes past that Isaac is understanding that he's about to go. Yes. I mean, no, when the saints leave, God already told them. Yeah. Amen. It's not Amen. a mystery to the saints. Amen. So when the saints, when it's time for the saints to go, they start getting their houses in order. Yes. Amen. And they start letting everybody know their instructions for the rest of their days yeah. because they know that their days are ended. Yeah. And so here we have Isaac who is about to um, give his blessing, amen, to the firstborn. Mm -hmm. We know that Esau already had a birthright. And because Esau was not serious enough about the things of the birthright, he sold his own birthright out for his appetite. Right. Amen. The things he felt like doing. And so his appetite won over a birthright that only you could get. It. Right. Amen. He had a birthright. And so Jacob understood the power of the birthright. Look at your neighbor and say, you got to understand the power of the birthright. Uh, if you don't hear it, we're going to have to teach it to you. It's the power of the birthright. So here's the power of the blessing. Amen. Of the, the firstborn. So here... Jacob is getting ready to, um, Jacob's mother is listening to Isaac, talking to Esau, telling him that he's getting ready to go, go and make my favorite venison. We'll sit here and have a talk because it's, I got to give you my last words. Amen. Rachel, remember, she was pregnant with twins in her womb. 
And she asked the Lord what was going on because she didn't know she had twins. The Lord told her there are two nations of people in your belly. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so we know that when she was about to give birth, one, one's hand went out. There was one that was supposed to come forward. The other one's hand went out. And he usurped his brother right from the point, didn't slip back in. Right. And so we see that this is Jacob. Amen. These two twins, a set of twins, two babies in one belly, mm -hmm. same mother, same father, different agendas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so verse 6, 27 and 6 said, Rebecca spake unto Jacob, her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau, thy brother, saying, Bring me venison, make me savor meat that I may eat and bless thee before the, be, uh, before the Lord, before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice. This is about the voice. Obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go now to thy flock. Fetch me from thence two good goats, two good kids of the goats, and I will make them savor meat for thy father such as he loved. And thou shalt bring it to thy father that he may eat and that he may bless thee before his death. And Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Behold, Esau my brother is a hairy man, and I'm a smooth man. My father peradventure will fill me, and I shall seem to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me, and not a blessing. 13 says his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy curse, my son. Only obey my voice, go fetch them, me them. And he went and fetched, brought it to his mother. His mother made savor meat such as his father loved. Rebecca took goodly raiment of her eldest son. I want you to look at what she's doing now. Right. She's taking Esau's good clothes. Right. And she is putting it um, upon Jacob, the younger son. And not only is she doing that, she's putting on the skins of the kids of the goats on him because Esau is hairy and Jacob is smooth. So here is a whole artwork being taken place at this point because she wants to make him look exactly like his brother. Yeah, yeah. Okay? And so this mother is working. Even though she know that the Lord said the, the younger shall rule over the elder, she's putting this work in action. And she gave the seven meat and the bread which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. And he came unto his father... And said, my father. And he said, hear my, who art thou my son? And so, Isaac knew that he gave Esau instructions. Isaac understood how long it would take to get it done. And so, when he hears the voice, he says, who are you? Right? So, identity is being questioned. Okay? And so, Jacob said unto his father, I'm Esau, thy firstborn. I have done according as thou badest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat my venison that thou soul, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac said unto his. So I want you to look at Isaac. Isaac, Isaac, he knows he's about to go. But there's things in him he knows that's not right. right. First of all, you got what I asked you to get too soon. And then not only that, your voice sounds like Jacob, right. but I feel you and you're like Esau because uh -huh. your hands are hairy. Uh -huh. So he heard the voice, right. but quickly he feels the hands. Uh -huh. And so he says, no, you know, um, he says, I brought it to you because the Lord brought it to me. I brought this stuff for you real fast because God did it. Right. God did it. Uh, verse 20 he says And Isaac said unto his son How is it that thou hast found it so quickly my son And he said because the Lord thy God brought it to me uh -huh. See And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father And he felt him And said the voice is Jacob's voice But the hands are the hands of Saul uh -huh. And he discerned him not How is it That you don't discern him not When you're understanding that it's not Esau's voice. So he was able to trick him because he felt like Esau. He smelled like Esau.
Esau. Right. We got this food here because I told Esau to bring me the food. Yeah. Nobody else was in here but Esau. So just in that quick time, in that quick moment, he didn't discern him because he tricked him with his words, even though he heard the voice. Right. Look at your neighbor and say, I will not be deceived. I will, I will not, not be deceived. deceived. you got to know God's voice. So the enemy can come with the same garment looking like God. You're used to God coming to you in glory in the morning. And he don't, he's not the same. Right. Sound like God. Walk like God. Presence like God. He's doing things like God. But God said, listen to what's being said. And look how quick he want to give you an answer. Right. You know, we wait on the Lord. <laughs> and sometimes God don't say things right away. Right. But he is quick. Quick on his feet. Yeah. Okay, verse 21 says, and, and, and Jacob said, Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. He's still questioning, let me feel you now. Right. So Isaac is using his senses. His touch, the feel, the feel is the touch, the smell, um, his voice, he's listening to him, but he tricked him. In this season, you cannot be deceived because things sound the same. Come on. You cannot be deceived because things feel the same. Come on, because a lot of times we go, I don't feel right. Right. Mm -hmm. We cannot be deceived because things don't appear to be the same. Come on. We cannot be deceived by what we see with our eyes. Come on. You cannot be deceived by what you hear with your ears. You right. cannot be deceived by what you feel with your hands or you yeah. feel with your spirit. Yeah. I just feel this in here. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus said, don't be deceived. Let no man deceive you. Because many will come in my name. Yeah, yeah. And so we're living in a time of great deception. Right. Where people look like they are Christ. Come on. But their fruits don't show that they are Christ, but you don't know it because you don't go home with them. Right. You right. don't know it because when they yell at you in front of everybody and embarrass you. Right. Right. Because you've been with them for so long. Oh, that's just them. Mm. That's just how they do it. Mm. Many people have been in these positions for so long. But look at your neighbor said, we waking up. We waking, waking up. up. We waking up. We, we ain't got up. to tolerate foolishness no come more. On, come on. Come we don't on. have to tolerate. It's not just one synagogue. No, it's right. not. It's so no, many it's places not. of God to worship. Come on. My and we God. need to go and hear what the Lord, what does say for the Lord. Come on. Because I will not be deceived in this hour. Not God is saying, God. try the spirits. Yes, God. To see whether they be of God. So you got to start asking questions just yes. like Isaac did. My son, we're... we're let me see if it's you. Let me see if it's you. Let me see if it's you. He missed it because he didn't remember or didn't hold on, didn't stick fast to the voice. But it's all these voices speaking. Look at your name and say, there's a whole lot of voices speaking in the world. It's not and all none of them are without the significance. World. They're saying something. They, yeah, they are. They're saying something. They're talking. And they're saying something. But your victory is going to be in hearing Jesus. Yeah, Come on. Right. Your victory is going to be staying in tune with the Lord. Yeah, your victory yeah, is going to yeah, be in yeah, this word. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, your victory is going to yeah, be in what is the Lord saying to us right now. Yeah, your victory is going to be in the change of the glory that God is placing. Come on. Your victory is going to be in let me hear what the Lord is saying. Your victory is going to be because listen, when we come to Christ, we come as we come as a Christian, right? We come to Christ, we come, and we, we come to him, and we become a Christian. Uh -huh. I just want to be a Christian in my heart. Remember uh -huh. the song? In my heart. Oh, Lord, I just want to be a Christian in my heart. Uh -huh. Okay? So we Christians come, and we want Jesus in our heart. Yeah. And so we begin to join a, a church. Amen. Uh -huh. And the church begins to train. And the church begins to tune us into what it's like. There was churches that are changed. I want you to know that things have changed, right? And so if we were in that level of deceit with the skin, with the, the smell of his clothes, right? We have voiceovers now. Yeah, yeah. If we saw, if, if any of you paid attention to the Kanika Jenkins case like I have and have
have been since it happened? In Chicago, they had voice of, they show her in the mirror laughing. It ain't her voice. It's a voiceover. So they have her walking around this hotel like she's drunk. It ain't her. It's somebody walking in her spot every place she went, and it looked like her. So it went on the news. And everybody's like, that little girl, she just got just messed up and she just found herself in the freezer. Uh-uh, I believe there was voiceovers. Mm-hmm. Right. There was a lot of recordings. Yeah. And there was a lot of hidden things in your very eyes, in your very right. presence. Right. 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 right? And so if we're going and things are changing in our times, right? If things are changing, in order for you to get something new, the first thing has to go down. It has to be dead. Amen? In order for you to get the new, the first thing has to die. You cannot put new wine in old wineskins. Right. Right? right? You have to have the new. Right. Because you preserve both. Right. Right? Because you'll damage the old when you're trying to force the new in it. Right. You cannot put a, a new garment on old clothes. Right. You'll destroy the clothes. Right? right. So you can't everything, whenever there's something new, Something old has to be done away with. Right. So we are seeing the saints going on to be with the Lord. Right. Come on, if they've been here, we lost one of the mothers, 94 years old. That's almost a whole, how many? It's almost 100 almost, years. Right, right. A hundred year time. Right. That's a whole era about to change. Right, right. So these are changing. Yeah. Okay? How have they changed? People used to watch television by sitting there and just listening to a radio. They watched the radio. Right. The radio was the television. Everybody gathered around, listened to the television, uh, which was the radio. Then when they became, when they had a TV, you had the UHF and the VHF, yeah. and you put the antenna right on it, and you gotta make sure it don't mess up so you can right. watch Channel 13, you can watch Channel 11, you can watch Channel 9, right? You, you might be able to catch some of Channel 8 that was some of the paid broadcasts on those channels, but it was just all the way to 13, you go to VHF, UHF, you do 28, you find PBS, uh-huh. right? So you had, that's the way it went. So now when you have um, uh, the other, uh, the next upgrade of television, you got a remote control now. Right. The next upgrade. You got a remote control. It's not black and white anymore. Right? right? right. Some people have black and white even when there was no remote control. Mm-hmm. But those are like like the wealthy people. Right. Or they got it from somewhere. Because right. everybody have a color TV. Right. right. Okay? And so it upgraded from there. And so then you ended up with cable television. Right. right. And so cable allowed you to have so many different channels, right? You can get pay-per-view now. Right. And so went from cable, now you got satellite TV. Right. So you got the dishes going up in the sky, right? So it's changing, it's changing. Yeah. Okay, so if we go to the music, we just had an eight track tape. Right. So I don't see anybody with an eight track anymore. You got an eight track, I mean, I go to the eight sales, you see them all day long. But who has an eight track to put right. the eight? Right. It right. don't fit. And so we went from eight track to cassette. Right. We went from cassette to CD. We went from CD to yeah. iTunes. From iTunes, look, iPods, I, okay, iTunes, now, now we're in where? We're in a whole different world. So things are changing based upon technology, right? So we had the church in the garden, in the garden of Eden, right? And so then we ended up with the church in the wilderness where Moses was. And so now we end up with the church in the book of Acts, right? And the church is turning this whole world upside down. And so now we got the kingdom. Right, right. Come on, so it's time for the kingdom to come. Right, because right. he said these kingdoms of this world should become the kingdoms of our dear God. Yeah. And he made us priests and he made us kings, right? Yeah. And so when he comes, he's looking for us to stand in a place of position and power. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so things are changing. Yeah. So now you have not just satellite, and so many things that I want to talk about because it's so interesting where we gotta go. Where we have to go. It's more than just Angel Gate. It's more. I just learned it's more. It's more. So, things have changed in the realm of the Spirit. When the Holy Ghost had fallen down in the people on the day of Pentecost, 
they began to speak in tongues as the Spirit of the Lord gave them utterance. It was a promise that, that, that God would, his glory would fill the earth, right? And there was a promise in the book of Joel that in the last days he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh, your sons and your daughters will prophesy. We saw these things that they all began to speak a language, but they, they spoke another language, but they all said the good things, the glorious things of God. Right. Well, in the book of Genesis, you had a whole kingdom being built, and you had a kingdom that was trying to go way up to heaven by themselves. And God had to come down to see what they were making. Right. And he had to confound their language because he said, these people, mm -hmm. they are all of one language. Right. And nothing will be withheld from them. Right. So he had to confound them. Right. right? That's where you get the Tower of Babel. He had to confound them. And so now they didn't know each other's language, so they had to stop building. Right. Amen? So today, people are building. But they're building up into the sky. So satellites now. Okay, TVN was saying we have all these satellites and everybody's able to, to see each other now, right? TVN was responsible for all these satellites going up and they're so excited. Well, now we got SpaceX taking satellites. They want, they want millions of satellites up there. By 2020, they want to be able to put loads and see if they can send it to the other side, to Mars. They're already opening the ground for the cars, the Tesla cars to go through yeah. underneath the ground. Right. The headquarters is in Hawthorne, mm -hmm. right here, Hawthorne, California, right? Yeah. And they have a sub company called Boring. Mm -hmm. So you look up Boring and you'll see how they open up the ground. They, and they're driving these cars, so they just want to make it where everybody who is able will be able to go under the ground yep. and get to where they need to go right. by quick speed. Right. Without driving. Right. Without a person driving. Right. So we're in an age where people are using technology for anything to happen. Right. Right? And so this technology... If people are slow in this technology, the people of the world don't care for you to be here. They call you a useless eater. And they just want you to be the ones working real hard out on the field, picking up trash or whatever have you. Right. And so if things are moving so quickly, amen, uh -huh. and if God is a spirit, well. and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, and we have went from this church age to the kingdom age. Right. What do you think we ought to be doing by now? Right, right. If he had, the scriptures been here time and time again, yeah. we are seated in heavenly places yeah. in Christ Jesus. Right. We are seated in him. He said, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. Right. And so if we are in him and he is in us, where are we supposed to be in this time? And so we have division set up, okay? Because coming out of this church age, now it's time for everybody to get on track because it's time for the kingdom. Right. Right. It's not about your denomination. Come on. Right. It's about right. people who believe God, yeah. who understand yeah. what time it is right now. Right. We right. are in such an urgent time. Jesus said there'll be wars and right. rumors of wars, right. nations right. against nations and kingdoms. And, oh, and this yeah. is the beginning of sorrow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they're going to want to kill you. Right. Jesus. So if you're not in Christ, we're going to be afraid. We're going to be afraid. Jesus. My God. Right? My God. The saints who are prepared, mm. they're preparing themselves to go and be with the Lord. Yeah. But they're not sitting in their seat, not doing nothing. Right. The older saints are praying. Come on. Mm. The ones who know God, not just saying, no, you're praying. They understand the scripture. They're looking at the times and say, oh, yeah, this is this is part of the book of Daniel happening. This is part of the book of Revelation that's taking place. These are prophecies that are taken. Everybody needs to start getting themselves together. Yeah. It was a never, if it was never a time before, it's a time now. That's right. So if the sick, if the saints can be on guard, understanding, hey, the whole body is under attack. Yeah. Hello. 
The whole body of Christ is under attack. Yeah. The whole body need to come together. Yeah. Come on. Because you're coming to be a Christian. You're coming to the church. Mm -hmm. And you have to be a part of the body. The bigger picture. Right? right? right. The kingdom of God has to operate through that body. Mm -hmm. And so when you come through the kingdom, if you read the book of Esther and you see how she was able with the help of God and all the saints of God that was about to be destroyed, they were able to have strategies and plans because they understood that the people were coming against God's people and they had to go and change the order. Right. So Esther, her uncle came to her and said, listen, what if God put you up for such a time as this, Esther? Right. If you don't go before the king, we're all going to die and God will do something, something somewhere else with somebody else. Right. But if you go before the king now, we can have a chance to stand against the enemies. Right? And so when it comes to kingdom principles, just like Esther, it's time to take the stand and change the order by strategies and by prayer. Yeah. That's right. Amen? Amen. So it's by position, it's by prayer, it's by strategy. And so the next place that everybody has to go is total prayer. Total prayer. Total movement. Whatever God tells you to do, you need to do it about now. Right. There was a minister who, who has opened a school. Love God. Opening a school for children. So they can teach them a particular curriculum where it be positive. Right. Wow. Amen? So people are doing what God has called them to do, and they need the help and support to be able to do it. So he got help and support. Had to go before... The board, right? But prayer had to be in session. They had to pray. He let everybody know we're praying. Yeah. Prayer had to be in session. They got the victory. And now the work is about to begin. My God. My right? God. So people have to be in their position. If you are the singer, if you're wherever you're going, God is calling you for this time. My God. Not about denomination. It's about the kingdom. And the king, come on. It's about you promoting his power. That's and right. because the kingdom has to come with power and demonstration. That's right. That's right. So when the kingdom comes, just like music can be played within the house, deliverance can take place with the music. That's Where right. do we see that at? When David had to play before King Saul, the demon was over King Saul. And when David would play with the heart, the demon would have to leave King right. Saul. Oh, we 
by now to understand that we got a place of prayer. And in the place of prayer, you can cause the enemy to behave. You can cause death to move out of the room. Come on. You can, because God is with you. And when somebody dies before their time, you be like Jesus going to the house where everybody's crying around the room. And he says, get out. Get out. Get out. I just want the mother and father. Right. And he says, come on, arise. Right, right. My God. Either we believe the book or we don't. Or we don't. My God. So all the culmination of everything in the Old Testament is happening now. Yes, it is. So the plagues, have you not paid attention come to on. the plague and the locusts Man. that have come down have and make us last week? Have you not come paid on. attention? Have, have you, you not it? paid attention to the pool? That the rivers are being filled with right now. Do you not understand everything that is going on in this place right now? And it's time for the saints to get up. It's time for the saints to stop bickering and fighting and complaining. Come on, it's time to rise up as a people. When we come together as one, there's nothing that can stop the people of God. There's nothing that can stop the kingdom. There's nothing that can stop the kingdom. The word of God will have free course. People, if my people who are called by my name, he didn't say no. we said this word, but we said it for them kind of people. No, no, no. our people, yes, yes. God's people, he will come, he will heal the land. If we come to him, if we repent, yes. if we start praying, yes. he will forgive our yes. sins, yes. he will heal yes. the land. Yes. He wants us to rise up, declare his name among the earth. Come on. In positions of authority. That means that he called you to be a council man. Some council members about to fall. The righteous people need to be in those positions. Come on, some people about to lose their seats as a judge. But the churches of righteousness need to be in these situations. Come on, come on. Right, my God. Police officers need to be police officers. And we need the righteous police officers uh -huh. to take these places. Come on. Yes. All right. Yes. It's too much work to do. It's too much. And while we bickering and complaining, listen, in the Old Testament, when you study the Chaldeans, the Chaldeans were the ones that did the sorcery, and the witchcraft, the understood times, astrology. These are the ones that Daniel was standing with. Jesus. But Daniel was different because he was a child of God. So whenever, when you look at history, whenever there was a whole bunch of division all over the world, the Chaldeans was rising up. And they became great in power and became religious people. They were Chaldeans of the Catholics. They begin to rise up. You got to look this stuff up. While the people are complaining and looking around for answers, when God is your answer, Amen. and all you got to do is say, Lord, what would you have us to do? Yes. Uh -huh. If there was no William Seymour, uh -huh. if he did not go through what he went through from right. Texas to California, right. there would have been no Azusa Street Revival right. with William right. Seymour's name written on it. Right. Okay, right. so... That was not far away, far along from there, about a hundred years ago. Uh -huh. And so the house still sits where it sits. Yes. And so if we even understand that history about the Azusa Street Revival and the miracles that took place there, come on. People that were in the hospital were able to come out the hospital yes. because they were getting healed. People that were in the convalescent homes were coming out the convalescent homes because they were getting healed. Yes. People yes. were coming on the train, getting off on Grand Central Station. They heard about the revival, come on, and they were getting off the train. And as soon as they would hit the floor, the ground, coming off the train, they would fall out under the power of God and speak with tongues as the Spirit of the Lord came to the utterance. It wasn't the black people. It wasn't just white people. It wasn't just Asian. It wasn't just Mexican. Come on, it was all nations of people trying to get the power of God. Come on, that was just over a hundred years ago, in fact. So listen, if God can do a thing, what's wrong with us now? Come on, if God can do a thing, what's wrong with us now? People were getting healed. People were getting delivered. Come on. The, the firemen would come out because the fire would literally be upon the house. It was a smoke that would just burn. And they would call the fire department. The fire department would come out and they would notice the smoke and the fire. But it 
the blind were able to have sight, the deaf were able to hear, yes. those that were lame were able to walk. Come on, the glory of the the glory of the Lord filled the temple. Yes. The kids yes. would be yes. on the receipts. They was collecting the smoke. Yes. They thought it was fun. They said, "We gonna collect the smoke." What happened to cause that demise? What happened? Because it happened for three and a half years, mm. although it was still in session for over 11. Ah. What happened? Because confusion started coming in. Exactly. Somebody got jealous because he started, uh, somebody wanted to be with William Seymour, mm. and he ended up with Jenny Moore. Mm. It caused a whole disruption. Jealousy came in. They started taking all the addresses of everybody they would send letters to. They would take the address, throw them all. They couldn't send out information anymore. The newspapers start coming, sending out fake news. These people are full of devils. And then William Parham comes all the way from Texas, and he begins to lie, saying, "This is of the devil." Wow. 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 Mr. Parham, it's not the name is not William. He came down, and he said, "This is of the devil." But William Seymour was training under him. But because William Seymour said, I'm not going to be under you. Mm. I'm doing what God told me to do. Well, and I don't need you above me. Right. Because what God is doing is what he's doing. Well, and so that man got mad because he would not put, give him that position. And so from that point, he said, that's the work of Satan. Mm. Fake news, fake news, mm -hmm. fake news, fake news, fake news. Fake news gets out there yeah, because they know that it takes the fake news to destroy something real. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Jesus. All right. Jesus. So we're living in a day, come on, wow. where God wants you to understand deception is high. Yes, yes. But if you stay and hear his voice, no matter what they say, you'll be like Jesus. He said, if your people cast out devils, who, who, if I cast out devils by the finger of God, who do your people cast out devils by? Right, right. Because they were saying he was casting out devils by Beelzebub. Yeah. Wow. So they're going to talk about Jesus. Listen, they're going to talk about you. Yeah, yeah. So in this position, you just got to get ready for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get ready for just it. Just get ready. And what does that mean? Oh, well, I already told y'all this is what they're going to do. So yeah. we're going to keep, we're going to tell that old fox. We're going to do miracles today, tomorrow. We're going to still do the work. Uh -huh. right? we and we're going to glorify God. Uh -huh. We're still, still going to do what God said That's do. Right? right? Yeah. right? Yeah. So if Christ can do it, so can he's we. our example. Yes, right. Right. So can we. So if Jesus said they're going to think they can kill y'all, or they will kill y'all, mm -hmm. they will kill them. And he said for some, what is it to you if, if, if he stay here? Just do your work. Uh -huh. What is it to you? Yeah. Just do what you call to do. Uh -huh. What if he tear it till I come? What is that to you? Right, right. So when we can walk and really be in the presence of God, come on. Jesus. And that's why we say in here, the three C's is a no no. That's right. No comparison, mm -hmm. no conflict, mm. and no confusion. Because everybody got to walk in love. That's right. Amen? Amen. Everybody got to. Love is the order. That's right. Because the only thing that's going to heal the people is love. That's right. Nothing else. That's right. Love. So when you hear somebody, cut it out. Hey, right. you bring it. You Remember what we saw on the board when we were studying at the house? Amen. If all these things are here, that means principalities, powers, and right. rulers, they in here somewhere. They got somebody's ear. Right, right. Right. Y'all remember that? Right. So we got to remember if that's happening, the enemy's in operation somewhere. somewhere. And he got a hold to somebody's ear. Right. And so now somebody's talking with their my voice. Yes, 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 yes. But Jesus said, My sheep know my voice. Yes. And a the strangers, they will not follow. Right. Eve was deceived by the voice. The serpent. The serpent yeah. said, and I ate. Mm -hmm. Deception, yeah. the voice. Know the voice of God. Yeah. Know the voice of God. Yeah. Know the voice of God. Yeah. 
My sheep know my voice, yes. and the strangers, they will not follow. How many love the Lord today? Yes, Come on, how many really love the Lord today? Yes. So I want you to declare today, I will not be deceived. I will not be deceived. I refuse to be deceived. I refuse to be deceived. I refuse to be deceived. Come on. I will walk in truth. I will walk in truth. I stay in truth. I stay in truth. I live in truth. I live in truth. Come on, we're gonna stand up on our feet and declare these things. Come on. Because we're making something known in the atmosphere. Come on, come on, come on. I refuse. I refuse to be deceived. To be deceived. I refuse. I refuse to be lied to. To be lied to. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. The lies of the enemy. The lies of the enemy. I refuse. I refuse. His sorcery. His sorcery. But I receive the truth of God. I receive the discernment of the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. And you need his discernment. Father, Father, give us more, give us more of, your of your discernment for these times. For these times. So, when so when people are before us, we know what's in their spirit. We know what's in their spirit. Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Come on, we know what they are of. Jesus knew all men, and it's time for that anointing to be released. For you know all men. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, no. We know all men. God going to give us that anointing. God going to give you that anointing. Well, you know what's in men. Come on, y'all. God going to, because I said the surgeries. There's a lot of things happen. You won't know the difference. So you better be able to have the discernment inside of you. Where no matter what's being, what it looked like, no, Jesus knew what was in all men. Come on, and he's going to give us that anointing. Come on. You're going to have to pay for it, though. What that means? You're going to have to go through some things so that God can teach you. See, this is what you need to know. That's not my spirit. That's not them. That's a girl. That's not a boy. You, yeah. You're going to have to see these things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he knew what was in all men. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus. So, Father God, right now, we thank and we praise you for the weapons. Oh, my God. Mm. For the weapons yes. that you're releasing unto us. God, I thank you that you help us to walk in truth. God, I thank you for the discernment, for the discernment, the spiritual discernment, the natural discernment, the knowledge and discernment. I thank you for the discernment of the natural man. I thank you for the discernment of the soulish man. I thank you for the discernment of the spirit man. And I thank you for the discernment that is in Christ Jesus. And I thank you, Father God, that you know what is in all men. And we ask for that anointing now. We ask for that knowledge now. Because we will not be deceived. Come on, we will not be deceived. You told us to not be deceived. Take heed that no man deceive you. So, Lord, we're taking heed unto you. You knew all things. And because of what you know, you give it to us. We will not be tricked. And Father, we thank you. And we praise you. Come on, I feel the anointing in here. I feel the anointing. No, y'all need to reach up. Reach your hands. Come on, reach up. Thank them for everything you've gone through up to this point. Come on, thank them for the warfare. Come on, you just don't understand. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Come on, there's an anointing. Come on, I feel his presence. Come on, let him saturate you. Oh yeah, I'm feeling the presence of God. It's a coolness like a water coming down. Come on, it's a refreshing coming down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let him refresh you from your tiredness. Come on, let him refresh you from that last warfare. Come on, come on, come on. You just don't understand. Come on. Your kids that the devil seemed to take right now understand that that's the same demon that you're going to have to cast out in other people. 
-hmm. Or you're going to have to know that spirit, know its operations. When the prodigal son wanted to go, the father let him go. When Sarah saw that Hagar was, was mocking her, despised her, she had to go. She said, her son will not be heir with mine. And God told Abraham, listen to the voice of your wife. to strengthen his people. Come on. Because this next place we're going to is taking off the old. Come on. Because you need to get the new. And when you got the new, the old cycle got to be gone. The old cycle has to die. Right? Look at this. This is the symbols of royalty. 